In this example, we're asked to make a box and whisker plot for the given data set. To make a box and whisker plot, our first step is to write the numbers in order from least to greatest. And we have 3, 7, 7, 8, 9, 12, and 14. Next, we find the median or middle number of our data set, which in this case is 8, because 8 has three numbers on either side of it. In a box and whisker plot, however, the median is called the second quartile. So 8 is the second quartile. Next, we find the first and third quartiles. The first quartile is the median or middle number of the lower half of our data set, which in this case is 7. So 7 is the first quartile. And the third quartile is the median or middle number of the upper half of our data set, which in this case is 12. So 12 is the third quartile. Finally, we label the least and greatest numbers, and we can see that the least number is 3, and the greatest number is 14. Now we're ready to make our box and whisker plot. So we use a number line that has an appropriate scale for our given data, which in this case is a number line that goes from 1 to 15. Next, we draw vertical line segments at the first, second, and third quartiles. So we draw vertical line segments at 7, 8, and 12. Next, we connect the endpoints at the top and bottom of our vertical line segments to form a box. Now, we draw a line segment from the least number, 3, to the box. And a line segment from the box to the greatest number, 14. These line segments are called the whiskers, and we have our box and whisker plot. Notice that a box and whisker plot is a good way to get an overall picture of the data set. We have our least number, the first quartile, the second quartile, or overall median of the data set, the third quartile, and the greatest number.